Uh, Shalom. Uh, all praise and honor to Yahweh. Double honors to the other apostles of being Muslim. As I teach you, I can teach all truth and sincerity. Um, so, so, and oh, this is going in to don't let your sins weigh you down. And, uh, huh. This is um, Second Edge 16 and um, 75. I'm going to go down it a little bit. Second Edge 16 and 75. It said, uh, oh, you can 74. 74 yeah. Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith Yahweh. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand that will deliver you from the same. Uh, that's, uh, going into, um, Jacob's trouble. Uh, as it says in, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7, it says, um, the heat that should be saved out of it, uh, that's the elect. Uh, how about she, how shall we, uh, protect, uh, his elect in, uh, the one third also. But since I mentioned that, I'll just read it. And also says in scripture, um, he will protect thee in the sixth, um, and the seventh hill, no evil shall touch thee. All right, it's in Psalms. Um, I got that on Jeremiah before. Okay. In Jeremiah 30 and 7, it says that at last for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Uh, and that he is the elect of uh, the elect of our people. Um, uh, did you go? Uh, yeah. You, where did you stop from? Um, 74. Okay. Keep going. Yeah, verse 75. It says, Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the most high is your guide. And, no, you, you going? You got, no, you got something? You got to say something. Yeah, you know, because because it talks about um, making our haste and that, uh, making our haste in that day of, uh, in time of trouble. time of trouble, you know, in a time of trouble, you know, so the Lord will tell you to be, to be, uh, 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 uh to have good courage, to be able to sound mind and don't fear, right? Yeah, um, there's a scripture, I got it, um, that I thought of when you said that, uh, this is, um, Psalms, uh, 94, verse 4, and 5. Wait, 94 verse uh, nine, oh, no, it's 91. It's Psalm 91 verse 1. He that dwelleth in secret place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. So we dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Uh, it says in uh, Judges 5 and 11, uh, it says, um, We rehearse the righteous acts. Uh, basically, uh, we're doing, hold on, let me get my point, because I, I was, uh, I can't remember. Right, because well, I also talk about, uh, it said, he that dwelt in the single place of the Most High shall abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Well, the single place is, is in these scriptures, man, okay? It's some of the, uh, um, uh, some of the trust and the tutelage of Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh in the spirit, man. It says, trust, it, it says, uh, 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 trust in the Lord with all your heart, and he not and lean not thyself to thy own understanding. Okay, so we know that our trust is in the eyeballs from the outside. Not in um um uh uh, uh, uh not in our weapons or not in our own self, you know. Um my point was uh come on, your point. Yeah. Yeah, we're supposed to trust not in ourselves but in in Yahweh Um uh this is Judges five and eleven. They that are delivered from the noisy archer in the place of drawing water there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Most High, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of Yahweh go down to the gates. So, and the, the archer uh, will be the, the missiles, but uh, they'll be delivered from all the missiles, the destruction that come. So, we don't have to... Um, like I said in Edris, uh, second, second Edris 16, and um, we don't have to be troubled. 
in those days during the time of Jacob struggle because if we uh, kept in the secret place of the most high, we're uh, put in uh, a place where uh, we're kept from all that calamity that's coming towards our, the two thirds, we're we're protected. All right, because it said uh, in that judge, it said in the place of drawing waters, we were heard the righteous acts. And that's America. And that's America. And the righteous acts is um, um, uh, the, the, the law of statutes commandments. That's right, man. All right, and that's what the secret place of the most high is in, in these scriptures. Yeah. When you read on in verse 2, it says, I will say of Yahweh, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, and him will I trust, man. Okay, so when Jacob trouble come, in the place where we're rehearsing the righteous acts, hey, man, the Lord's going to come deliver us, man. All right? This is back in Sirach 16 and um, uh, 76. And the God of them who keep my commandments and, and precepts, say of Yahweh, their power, let not your sins weigh you down. Let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Uh, we're not supposed to uh, dwell on. Um, we're not supposed to dwell on those things that we had before. Right. We're supposed to, um, and we're supposed to, uh, and basically, this flesh is um, chains of darkness. Uh, it's like. Um, we don't do, we hate the things that we do, like we hate going off, but we don't continue to dwell on the things we used to do because we basically became new creatures in, in this truth. Uh, that's right, because it says that, um, to the, in, the, in the God of them who keep my commandments, hey, that's us birth and righteous acts, man. Huh. All right? And precept says the Lord, Yahweh, let not your sins weigh you down. All right? Because, hey, because we all know. Um, uh, what the scriptures say about certain about certain transgressions and what the penalties are. Mm -hmm. But guess what, man? If you keep on dwelling on, on on trying to keep the law perfect, man, you're gonna you're gonna um uh, bug yourself out, man. And it's called rehearsing the righteous acts because we can't really keep the laws hundred percent here in this society because this society this this world is built is uh, built for us to go off anyway. That's right. Because they poison the food, the water, the air, everything is defiled, even the women and children. Right. And they try to poison even the kids and they're poisoning everything. So there's not really anything we can't really do it do it a hundred percent like we want to. But in the kingdom will be doing it a hundred percent. That's right. It says, um let, let, let not your iniquity lift up themselves. Uh, you yeah, come on, because 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 we know that um, all right, we know that we're if you have women, you know that most likely she's not a virgin. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so technically she belongs to somebody else. We know that our um uh, 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 we know that we're eating our bread defiled. Okay, we know that we got to work on the Shabbat. Mm -hmm. Okay, we know that sometimes uh, we maybe have to go um um um, um uh, uh buy some things on the Shabbat, man. Okay, but we don't let those things weigh us down, man. Okay. Because that's the case when you always be having your head, head, head hung low, all right, all right, thinking that you're not going to make it because, because you're putting in a position to go off, man, yes. all right, at every turn. You got the food, you got the um, 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 the air, the water, all right, so we got to be careful about about what it is we let uh, bother us, man, okay? Yeah. So, say we subject to vanity. That's right. Yeah. So we may subject to vanity, just mm -hmm. to keep your ass on. That's yeah. right. So I'm going to continue on. This is a good point right here. The second edge of 16 and 77. Woe be unto them that are bound with their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered or with bushes and the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. He is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith, man. Like I said, woe to, be, woe to them that are bound with their iniquities, man. Okay? If you're constantly worried about Man, I'm going off. I did this wrong. I did that wrong. Well, you don't have no time to perfect yourself, man. You have no time um, um, to focus on the correction, all right, on the things that um, 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 you're able to do, man. All right? But that reminds me of that uh, scripture that says, a just, man, a just man followed seven times, and he gets, well, I'll get it for you. I believe it. I'll get it. I believe it says it gets back up in some. Yep, I'll get it. But uh, as my elder uh, Benji has said, you, you fall, you get back up, and you repent, and you keep on moving. You 
you can't just stay down and not get back up. Uh, I got it right here for you, all right? Proverbs 24 and 16. For a just man follows seven times and rises, rises up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Huh. And as my elder has said, you get back up, you repent, come back, and you keep on moving, keep on pushing. You don't just stay down because it has to say the wicked fall into mischief. Mm -hmm. um, but that, oh, so that, that's that's where it went with this scripture that says, "No, not your sins weigh you down." Um, we're gonna go off, but we'll repent. Um, as Elder Uriah said, uh, you gotta keep, continue to keep uh, saying salakli to Yahweh Yahshua every day. Uh, yeah, um, so Rock 17 and 25 said, Return unto Yahweh and forsake thy sins, make thy prayer before his face, and defend less. And yeah, you gotta continue to defend less. You gotta keep um what's the word? Um uh, we gotta come to Yahweh Bashan Asha humbly. And say Salakni, but there's another word I was thinking it was about. Um, uh, and, you know, basically, because look, all right, when you forsake yourself, or right, when you start forsaking the things, all right, you know, like popping your women on the, um, on the cycle is off. You know, having sex on the Shabbat is off, okay? Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, but if you have, um, um, I ain't say popping women on the period, but if you have sex on the Shabbat, or um, 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 you may, you know, you may have done some jive, okay? And pick yourself up and don't do it no more. Offend less, man. Mm -hmm. All right, because hey, man, because the Lord points us doesn't want to be deserved. So we, so you gotta keep in the mindset that those things that are um, 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 are uh, 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 not those things are uh, sin. Sinning against the Most High, you know the bad. You stop doing it. Uh, that. Uh, sorry. No, right. Well, well, basically, uh, uh, just offending less, man. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. You know what? You know what it is. All right. The Lord gave us three commandment. All right. For what it is to do that we should escape judgment, man. What not to do? To, to uh, what not to do? To uh, what things to do? To. to uh, Get his um, what's the word? Uh, get his um, what's the word? Get his uh, do the things that are pleasing to him, and do the things that are not pleasing to him, you get judged. But to do the things that are pleasing to him, and the eyes of how about you, is. I got it right here. The second edge seven and twenty one. For the Most High had given straight commandment to such as came, what they should do to live, mm -hmm. even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. Man. Mm -hmm. All right, so the Lord gave gave us gave us these laws and the commandments about how to live and what to do to avoid this punishment, man. Okay, but one and one way to avoid punishment is to offend less, man. Mm -hmm. All right, I got that on the song if you want it. Yeah, the Psalm fifty one, and I'm gonna start at two. Or I'm gonna start at the top. To have, have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies, but out my transgressions. Um, and that's a, a Psalm of David. He's telling Yahweh, Shehah, uh, Yahweh, to blot out his transgressions, to uh, basically, um, Blood out means like not to. Well, he remembers, but not. He's not. He don't see him, man. Not like tell him accountable for it. Yeah. Not completely. Like he he um he covers him up. He's covering him up. He's uh forgiving him for him. He got it right here. It's right here. Isaiah forty three and twenty six or twenty five. I even I am he that blotted out thy transgressions for my own sake, and will not remember thy sins. You know that's what the brother was saying, man. Okay, hey, hey, the Lord wants you to acknowledge your sins, man. Okay, and offend less. <laughs> so, right, so he can't blot, blot out your transgressions, so he won't remember them, man. Mm -hmm. Imagine the Lord remembered every, imagine the Lord held you accountable for everything that you did, man. 
and we all be dead, man. Yeah, we all be dead. That's why David said, he said, have mercy upon me. Yeah. According to his loving kindness, I'm going to keep on going. He says, I'm Psalm 51 and 2. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. And that's why it's important to repent. It's Word. important to repent to how much you know, and become sorrowfully. And that's what I was looking for. So come sorrowfully to the Lord and be humble about it. And uh, with, uh, with sincerity and truth. And uh, don't do it again. Uh, Shai said when he healed people, uh, sin, sin no more. Uh, after, yeah, he said sin no more. After he healed them. He said, once they go away, he told them not to sin no more. Just, you know. All right. Um, keep on going. All right, because it walked me thoroughly. How you, how you watch yourself? By the watching of the word, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, by remembering these precepts. Okay, like you said in second address. All right, that, hey, 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 that's our foundation of how the Lord is going to accept your, um, um. The sacrifice. And, uh, using these Law Shares Commandments is basically frontless. You know, right. they're supposed to guide you to the right things, not, not to the uh, evil things. That's right. It says, For I acknowledge my, my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Uh, and that will keep you um, on a straight and narrow because you know not to go back to who you were before. That's right, because David, and, and because, because we, we know the accounts of what David did, man. He numbered Israel. Mm -hmm. He uh, 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 he murdered um, Uriah. Mm -hmm. He committed adultery. Mm -hmm. Okay? But guess what, man? We're looking for those tender mercies, uh, 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 the sure mercies of David, man. Mm -hmm. The same mercy that, 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 that the Most High Yahweh by Shemi Shai gave David, we're looking for those same mercies, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we can't let our sins weigh you down. Mm -hmm. All right? Like the brother said, man, the judge man fought seven times, but if we can fall into mischief, man. Yeah. All right? So we don't want to be the one when we fall down, we, we stay down. And we stay in that mopey state. And, uh, like we're, we have our head down and we don't like, you know, get back up and, and keep on moving and pushing. You know, we're not, we're not called to stay down. We're called to continue pushing. No matter what. And it says... The scripture, uh, strive for the truth unto death. We got to continue going and, and continue fighting. That's in, yeah, so Rock 4 28. That's in my class. Let's do this. Yeah, it's going to be more possible to go. I need money. Oh, no. In Sirach 4 and 28, it says, Strive for the truth until death, and how shall fight for thee. Yeah, we're supposed to continue fighting and pushing until death. And even to die is gain. And, and just as continue fighting is gain, because uh, we're, we're, our mission and our. Uh, is to receive the crown of glory from Yahweh Shai saying, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Because uh, he's the, um, our shepherd. Yep. Yes. Um, you got anything? Oh, uh, I hope this is edifying. I'm just saying, I'll pray down his voice to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Double honors to other apostles like Millstone and salutation to Rocky, teach all true sincerity and shalom. 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 Shalom.